The narrative that Xbox has no games is gradually dying, and with the mass of exclusives coming up early next year, or throughout the whole of next year, I am extremely excited, and this whole thing of Xbox having no games is just going away gradually. But I want to have a talk about my personal top 10 upcoming Xbox Series X and S games that I am most excited for. These games are not launching on PS5 or Switch or timed exclusives or anything like that. These are solely exclusive games to the Xbox. Xbox brand, meaning PC and the Xbox consoles. The first one I want to talk about here today is a game that's very, uh, very loved for myself that I used to play back on PC in the day. This is launching early next year, January 31st to be precise, and this game is Age of Empires 2, the definitive edition, which is one of the first, well, it's the first time we're getting an Age of Empires experience on console. This is huge. This is so exciting. I cannot wait to get my hands on this. Obviously, we've already heard about other Age of Empires games coming to Xbox as well, but this is the one they're porting very, very early on. But I'm very, very curious to see how this game is actually going to play on console, both these games that have been announced. Uh, we've not really had too many like these type of strategy games. Recently, actually, I talked about Praetorians, um, which is a fantastic game that's games of gold uh, for November, I believe. This game was awesome. I've actually played this game on PC before, but they had a really good control system for like controlling your units uh, with various different button commands that worked really well that I hope to see impl implemented in a game like Age of Empires. But I'd imagine that knowing um, knowing Forgotten Empires, the developers, I think they would have done very good work porting this to uh, Xbox controllers. So on to the next game. The next game is a very big game. We don't have much information and I'm not going to talk about for too long. That is Fable. I personally don't think we're going to get this next year, but this is still a game I'm very excited about and one in my heart that I've loved all the previous games and I just cannot wait to see this next game come into the xbox because it's just you know it's been too long man fable is a, such a big ip for xbox and to have left that behind for so many years at this point is disappointing and xbox need to step up and get this game out as i say i think this is going to be more aimed at 2024 and not 2023 uh but you know, however long it takes, it's important this game comes out finished and knowing that Playground Games is developing it is good news and I'm excited to see what they do with this game. But that's it. We've only got a short cinematic trailer for this one. Nothing really major to talk about here apart from the fact that I'm extremely excited for it. Next on the list is State of Decay 3. We do not have a release date for this. We've got a very, very nice trailer. This game just looks gorgeous in the trailer. State of Decay 2 is a game that I put a ton of time into. It's great fun to just jump in with your friends and, you know, do all the crafting, do all the killing of zombies and just surviving in that world. I do personally think State of Decay 3 is going to be a huge step up graphically in the way the game plays. Mechanically, it's just going to be a very, very different game. I know it's still State of Decay, but it's going to be a very, very different looking in a better way game so i'm excited for that one now on to the next one which we know is going to be launching in the first half and yet unless there's any delays which i seriously hope there isn't but i do want this game to be perfect is starfield so starfield obviously developed by bethesda um this game is one of the most anticipated games of next year particularly obviously on Xbox users because we need a first party Xbox game and this is one that I think we're going to get a little bit towards the half point. I don't think this is going to be the first quarter. I would definitely say the second quarter of the year uh, because I just think we've had delays and I know Phil Spencer wants them to get this right. They do not want another Fallout 76 or Cyberpunk like situation. That just would not be good at all. They want this game perfected. They want it to come out good. This is the first sort of X, you know, Xbox exclusive we're getting in a long, long time. I do think there's going to be one before that, which we'll talk about a bit later in this video, but this is one that's huge. This is the one we're all all excited for this is the next huge game from bethesda a thousand planets that you're going to be able to go visit and explore this is something that's just so exciting and they seriously need to get this right it's so important that this this goes well so i hope that's going to be the case the next one i actually think is a game that people aren't talking about enough and i think it's going to be a bigger game than people are realizing and this is from the developer rare and the game is ever wild now i do think we should be getting a release date very very shortly for this game it's been in development for a while obviously it was announced back in 2019 and they gave us a pretty decent sort of trailer for that so i'd imagine we're getting very very close um so i think we could actually see a release for this game sort of later on in this year if not early 2024 and this obviously this is from rare so they 
been famous for developing games like Banjo Kazooie and the original Donkey Kong Country games. They are extremely good developers. They've worked heavily on Sea of Thieves. That's been a fantastic live service game, actually, and people don't give that enough credit either. Uh, it just launched a bit bare bones, unfortunately, pun intended. Uh, but Everwild is a game I'm very excited for. I do think it's going to be bigger than people think. The trailer looks gorgeous. This thing just looks absolutely insane. I seriously hope when it comes out that we do get this kind of graphical fidelity as we see in the trailer because it, it just looks insane. I can't wait for this game. The next one is Outer Worlds 2. Obviously, Outer Worlds 1 launched a couple of years back now, so I'd imagine this is a way off. 2024, 2025 sort of time. The first game was a little disappointing. Compared to a Fallout game, it did feel a little bit empty. It just wasn't as good. But now that Xbox are probably going to push a ton of money into it, obviously it was a new IP launching. So the second game should be a huge improvement on the first with a lot of money injected into this game. They need these exclusives to do well. They just do. So pouring money into them, making them as good as they can be is what is needed here. So Outer Worlds 2, I'm hoping we're going to get some better quests rather than just walking over there and then coming all the way back over here just to deliver deliver something that just got a little bit frustrating mechanically it didn't feel great i'm hoping they can improve on those bits here and we do get a release date down the line i don't think it's going to be anytime soon be nice to see a bit more of a trailer because obviously we just had the official announcement trailer be nice to get a little bit more from that but that's another one i am excited for and hoping that we can get some better mechanics and better things in that game the next one which is what i talked about that's going to come before uh, starfield should be in the first half of next year i would imagine earlier on next year hopefully i ate April sort of time. This one I wasn't excited for at the start, but after getting the new trailer, I was so hyped. And this is Arcane Studios Redfall. I am so excited for this game. This looks absolutely phenomenal. As I said, the first trailer that we originally got just didn't look too good, but then we showed we started to see a little bit more. Um, and it, it just really, really, really looked good. So this is obviously from Arcane, as I said, that did Death Loop for the PS5. Now obviously they're going to a console Xbox exclusive. This is exciting, man. Redfall just looks so good. The mechanics look amazing. The way the game plays and looks just looks so fun. And I can't wait to dive into this one. The reason I think this is coming before uh, Starfield is because I think it was Matt Booty who actually said that uh, he when he worded it, he worded it as in we've got Redfall coming. And then later down the line, we've got Starfield coming too. So I think... Um, the reason he worded it like that is because it is going to be coming first. So I hope I hope that's the case. I think Starfield needs a little bit more time, whereas Redfall looks a little bit more complete and finished. The next one I don't know much about, but I know it's a good multiplayer kind of game. And I've already, uh, it's actually already launched when talking about it. But I want to talk about it because it's one I've not dived into yet, but I am excited for. And that is Warhammer 40k Dark Tide. Now, I know Vermintide was a huge hit with a lot of people. I never really got time to jump into that but i've got my brother into these sort of games recently and it's one that i want to play with him it's it's made by the developer fat shark and vermintide was absolutely phenomenal i heard great things about that um a dark tide seems like a similar thing where you just got waves uh, waves of um these like creatures that you have to fight your way through and survive it just looks really really fun I don't want to talk about it too much because I don't know enough about it, but it's a game that I'm excited to dive into. It's already out November 30th this year, and it's one that I'm looking forward to actually jumping into. I thought I'd include that for one that you guys can actually go and download right now. The next one, we don't have a date for, but this is Hellblade 2. Now, Hellblade 2 just graphically looks ridiculous doesn't it it's amazing what they've done with this game as such a small studio as well obviously that studio being ninja theory this game just looks phenomenal the first game was graphically insane personally i didn't enjoy the gameplay that much it felt way too puzzly not enough combat in this game personally but it looks like this is one of the elements they're going to improve on in the second game i still going to think it's going to be a bit puzzly and stuff because uh, it's just the style they're going for but combat needs to be something that's added a bit like in uh plague's tale requiem for example combat was buffed a little bit more you'd be able to do a little bit more with your character with the sling with various different crossbow mechanics they need to add that sort of stuff a little bit into hellblade 2 in my personal opinion but this trailer obviously the, the game looks phenomenal it's running on epic's new unreal engine 5 I think this could be a 30 FPS game. I know there's talk about a 24 FPS mode, like a cinematic mode, but I hope we do get a 60 mode because that's where personally I like playing my games. But either way, I'm going to play this on my Series X. So excited for diving into this one.
The next one on this list is Stalker 2 Heart of Chernobyl. And this is the final one that I want to talk about here today because these are just the ones I'm most excited for coming up. Currently, this has been delayed, obviously, with things going on in the world right now and where the studio is located. That's very, very tough for them. And it, it, it's been delayed and that's currently pushed back to December late next year. I'd like to think we'll get this next year, but I think realistically it's something that's going to be pushed into 2024. This game is going to look insane. It's going to play insane. I have complete faith in the developer, which is GSC Game World. I think they do a fantastic job of all the games they've done in the past. And again, this is something that I'm just very, very excited for. And I just feel so sorry for what's going on in the world over there right now and these guys trying to develop and keeping pushing through bringing a game out as often as they can with what's going on over there it sucks that whole situation and something that baffles me that's even able to happen on a day like these days in 2022 nearly 2023 the fact that there's still stuff like this going on in the world just angers me, to be honest. It's unnecessary and shouldn't be happening. But that's the situation with this game right now. I'm excited for it. It's just going to be good, man. Coming to Game Pass, obviously, I'm probably going to buy the game as well just to give the developers as much support as they possibly can by having the Game Pass paid for and also buying a physical copy because I just think they deserve that, man. This sucks. So thank you so much for watching. That's it. These are the top 10 ones I'm personally excited for. Obviously, you guys will have a list of other ones as well, but these are just the ones that I'm most excited for right now. That's all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please leave a like. Please subscribe if you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.